Welcome to Scone Baking Beyond. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I enjoy making scones, muffins, cookies, and all sorts of delicious baked goodies. For you pepperoni pizza lovers, I have created my pepperoni pizza roses savory scones. They're wonderful and delicious for brunch, a light lunch, or an anytime snack. So let's bake. The first step in our scones is to grate our butter. We have eight tablespoons of cold butter and the first thing I'm gonna do is grate it. Okay, now that our butter's grated, we're gonna put this in the freezer because we wanna keep this butter as cold as possible. So in the freezer, this butter will go. Now that the butter is in the freezer, it's time to get our dry ingredients together. The first thing we start with is one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, and then one half cup of whole wheat pastry flour. I use whole wheat pastry flour because I want the nutritional value of whole wheat, but not the heaviness of whole wheat. So I use whole wheat pastry flour. Then we add one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna get these dry ingredients mixed up. And now we're gonna add our chilled butter. So here's our butter out of the freezer. It's nice and cold. We wanna keep this butter as cold as long as possible because what's gonna happen is this butter is gonna create steam before it melts and that steam is gonna develop these nice layers in your scones. So we'll get this in here. And because I grated the butter, I don't have to cut it in. I can just mix this in and make sure that all the pieces of butter are covered with our flour mixture. That way, the butter stays cold longer. Okay, now that the butter is totally coated with that flour mixture, it's time to add the buttermilk. I have one cup of buttermilk. And we're going to get this mixed together until it comes together as one ball of dough. We don't want to over mix this. This will be a little bit loose and that's okay. Get that out. There we go. We're going to put this on our board and we're going to roll this out now into a 12 inch by 12 inch square. And that's where my scone making is different than most people's is that I'm gonna roll this out into a 12 inch by 12 inch square because I'm going to use a little technique from croissant making. Okay, let's see how we're doing. It doesn't have to be exactly 12 inches by 12 inches, that is. And that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into thirds. And this is a little bit of the croissant making method. And now we're going to fold in third the other way. We're going to fold in third the opposite direction. And there we go. Now we have this wonderful little package. I'm going to add some flour to my cutting board. And now we've handled this dough a little bit and that butter's starting to warm up. So now I'm gonna put this in the freezer for five minutes. While our dough is in the freezer, it's time to get our other ingredients together. What I did was I grated up eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. I also grated up two tablespoons of Parmigiana Reggiana. I created my own pizza sauce and the recipe is below or you can use your favorite pizza sauce. 
and we have five ounces of pepperoni sliced up. Now that it's been five minutes, it's time to get our dough out of the freezer and we need to roll it out into a 12 inch by 18 inch rectangle. Okay, let's see how we're doing. So let's see, we have 12 inches by 18 inches, just perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half lengthwise. What I have here on my scraper are inches marked out on here so I know where I am. And now we're gonna go nine inches here, which is right there. Cut this in half. And now we have four quarters, and each quarter we're gonna be three inches by six inches. There we are. Now we have 12 pieces. So now it's time to make the roses. So we're going to take this one piece, move that aside, and what we do is we take about two teaspoons of our pizza sauce and put that on the top half. And then we take five pieces of pepperoni. We're going to layer that on, overlap it just a little bit, and let it stick out just a little bit over the top there. And then, of course, we need about two tablespoons of mozzarella. Mm. This is going to be so good. And then we're going to take this lower half and fold it over. And then we're going to roll this up. Just like that. And doesn't that look like a rose? And we're going to put that into our muffin tin. And we're going to do that for each one of these. for the last one. Get our cheese on there. Oh, this is going to be so good. You got pepperoni, you got pizza sauce, you have mozzarella. Mm. And now to top it off, if you have any mozzarella left, you can just sprinkle some on the tops. And then we take our Parmigiano-Reggiano. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top because we need that on our pepperoni pizza roses. I preheated my oven to 400 degrees and we're going to bake these for 20 to 25 minutes. Don't those look delicious? It's been 20 minutes, so it's time to get them out. Oh, they look so good, but I have to let them rest a while, let them cool down a bit, and then we'll get them out the muffin tin. We've let these rest for about 10 minutes and they're still warm, but they're okay to get out of the muffin tin. So we're gonna try one now because they're still warm and I'm sure soft and gooey on the inside. So there we are. Oh, you get the pepperoni, the pizza sauce, and in there somewhere is that mozzarella. So we're gonna take a little bite. Mmm, mmm. They're soft. You can taste the pepperoni, of course, and the pizza sauce, and all oh, that gooey mozzarella in there. Mm. That's very good. They're nice and tender. Like I said, these are great for a light brunch with a salad, or a light lunch with a salad, or an anytime snack. They also freeze well. So put them in your freezer, and when you're ready for a little pepperoni pizza snack, take them out, defrost them in the microwave, warm them up, and oh. They are so good. For the complete recipe, go to sconebaking.com 
And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching.